Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people, the Niemer here with another card quest video. So last time we defeated the Dwarven Mountains, but we're gonna go in it again. I was told that in the Dwarven Mountains old mine there is an amazing quiver I should try out. And yeah, sure, why not? Let's go. And this will give me an opportunity to play a little bit with the uh, with the mask, the, the Runecrafter's mask that we just unlocked. It will let us... Uh, Go to a special shop where you can exchange uh, money for very special runes with unique powers. So looking forward to that one. Everything else we're gonna keep the same. We're gonna have Ranger School, Short Bow, Military Weaver, and uh, the Coction, the Firebreed the Coction, which we flames the dragon to that with. Hmm. Anyhow, other items are kind of cool. We're gonna have a chance to maybe try out different items when we try to unlock some of the Advanced classes, same as we did on the wizard class, but for now I really enjoy this setup. Short bow, it does a little bit less damage than the composite one, but I really enjoy the cycling. So I'm gonna be keeping this one together with my quiver, which I like the most right now. Some bear traps for emergencies, and yeah, my new item. And uh, I'm gonna be playing sharp shooter school again. I think it's really powerful and nice. Although we'll have to do Ranger School at some point to unlock the classes as well. So yeah, anyhow, let's start. Okay, got some help. Who knows, maybe I should read this once <laughs> yet again <laughs> to like refresh my memory a little bit. So let's see here. I unlocked all the items here on the top. Now I want to go through the old mines. Oh, it's like here. Cool. So maybe I do like this. Toop, something like that and then the next time I can go like uh, dum, dum. yeah sure so we're gonna go to old mines mushroom caves dwarven city that's gonna be interesting we're gonna be skipping the fortress go to a fallen city and go to a dragon slayer should be an interesting run anyway let's go entering mountains foot here we are, stranger. This is my kingdom. The Dwarven Prince's eyes shine with pride as he gazes upon the impressive mountains. Every morning I curse the day that this damned usurper forced me into exile. I was a child then, but I'm a warrior now. I promise you that if you help me overthrow this bastard, I'll give you a fair share of my father's treasure. It will be worth your trouble. You nod to him. Good, let us go then. Be on your guard. These lands are full of goblins and wild beasts. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> Goblins shouldn't be too much of an issue, though, so, yeah. We are well, well experienced in unleashing all kinds of trouble to our enemies here. I really like how this one cycles, regardless if it's chained or not. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, these first couple of areas I'll probably play a little bit fast. Just to get them out of the way, although in the past that was proven to be a little bit of a, well, scary thing, but it should be fine, it should be fine. Oh, also I have a Runecrafter's mask, I should definitely be using that. Oops. Yeah. Well, what can you do? Oh, something's not right. Okay, well. Let me concentrate here and I'm gonna do an uh, escape or something, I don't know. I'm just gonna do a distracting shot here. Oh, I wanted to do the counter shot. Whoops. So yeah, we should be pretty strong here thanks to the Runecrafter's Mask. I mean, I'll be buying a lot of these runes of greed and using them to buy some dimensional runes should be pretty strong. Desperate Merchant. Well, that sounds like something I wanna free and uh, uh, talk with. Should be nice. Okay. Uh, let me use that before I forget. Uh, prepare shots, rated auto. Yeah, okay. I'll buy the numbers here. Just need to draw into some useful things, I guess. Um, let me see here. Shot. Well, I would like to chain that one. Any chaining abilities? Uh, not really. What do we have in here? Oh, yeah, that rune. Let me use it. That did not chain it though. Ah, let me just draw some cards for that, I guess. There we go. Okay, do that. 
So yeah, let's see what this merchant has for us. Well, the thing that attacked him looked like a snake. I guess it was not. Okay, well, do you just give me an item or do we like have to pay for it? Thank you, friend. Have this. A healing potion. Well, thank you very much. This one is actually very expensive if you buy it. So that's going to be cool. Uh, okay. Increase max HP, increase energy max. Attack shots gain plus one. Well, this one is really strong, so we're gonna go for that one. I'm gonna buy that and that. Rune of time, I'm not gonna use. Like, you restart everything. And you do lose all the runes you already used, so I'm just gonna go for dimensional runes. This one is like, if your hand is empty, it's like draw five, which is really strong, so. Gonna buy a bunch of these, pretty much. Okay, well, I kind of like this hand, so I'm gonna play it. Okay, kill the slingers. Okay, gonna use that. I mean, that's better to use as a chain break, but uh, I'm fairly confident here, so I'm just gonna use it at the start so I don't forget. Okay. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I played, well, <laughs> more than a couple. I had like e episodes pre-recorded well in advance. Um, no, covers and runs. Don't run. Everything's fine. So yeah, I like to sit down, play a bunch. Then I uh, like, uh, let me use the rune of greed. And then like come back to it in a couple of days, play a bunch more. In the meantime, I'm just unfloating things. Especially since, like, I want to keep my videos nice and short, so they are pleasant to watch. And, yeah, but when I record a series, then uh, I usually need, like, three or four episodes to... Let me see here, Rune of Greed. Rune of Greed. It is a bit risky to do it, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, so, yeah, I, I like to re record a bunch of episodes and then... Uh, Upload them one at a time each each day. And then I play some other games and so on and so forth pretty much. Um, this should be fine. Uh, I don't know how, how risky I want to go with health, but well. The riskier I go, more of these I'll be able to buy, so. That's definitely something to do. <laughs> I want as many as I can. Although I defeated the dragon without this, so I should not get too much. At least I get a kill, so maybe we stay on six here. I can definitely like play a rune of greed before I kill the boss, I guess. But anyhow, back to the thing at hand. I'm gonna wanna buy more though. So that goes for sure. This will also work like a nice chain breaker. Mm -hmm. Loving it. Okay. So don't mind any mistakes I do here in the first couple of areas. before Because my priority here is to go like nice and smooth through them. And then I'm going to focus up once we hit like a little bit harder enemies. Basically that's the plan anyway. Okay, let's see. We got planned escape. Distracting shot should be good enough I think. Mm-hmm. There we go. Good. Okay, we are at the boss. Ambush Hunter. First attack is every battle. This plus two and ignores armor. Okay, next two shots cost minus one arrow. Next three shots. Well, I'm usually bad on stamina, so I always take stamina here. On level three. Okay, let me buy a couple of these. Good. Oh, it's the Mama Bear. Well, I would like my card draw here, so I'm going to mulligan. There we go, the cards draw, and let's go. I'm gonna kill the bear first, I think. Okay, uh, recover arrows. Well, it's a bit early for that. Uh, I can do another one of those. Okay, I'm gonna break here, get that one. That one's a bit expensive, but maybe later, we'll see. Okay, rail arrow into quick shot is pretty good. 
I shouldn't have any issues here, like bear doesn't have like armor or anything. Uh, pretty straightforward fight. Thing is, if I if I had more max HP, I would gain more HP and be able to buy more runes. So that's something to consider. But game is easy enough for me, so I don't have to do that. But uh, if it was harder, I could, I guess. Okay, well, starting to run a little bit low on arrows, so let's do that. Okay. Okay, game, I see what you're doing here. <laughs> really? Come on, I need a shot. Oh, that's okay, I guess. We might need to pass here, but that's also fine. Oh, there we go. Oof, I would draw two here if I was not such a silly, silly person, but okay. Okay, and then one more bare hand. Oh. Can't really. Well, okay. I have these for just in case as well, so I shouldn't worry too much. The bear cop dies. I'm so sorry, bears, but you were in my way. Okay, got 5 HP. Good. Living Mountain's foot. All right, stranger. From this cave, we can take two different paths. There's an old mine not far from here. That would be the most direct route to the Dwarven city, but they'll get alerted of our presence sooner if we go there. Alternatively, we could keep climbing the mountain pass and get to the city through one of the many caves there and higher up. It's your call, stranger. Well, I already did the mountain pass, so we're gonna go to old mines, start fighting some dwarves here. Uh, yeah, let's go. You follow the prince along a cliff until you find the entrance to the dwarven old mines. All right, here we go, stranger. Now I must warn you. Some of my people are actually loyal to the usurper. They will know me and will probably try to stop us. Don't hold your hand, though. They sure won't hold theirs. Besides, we need to make an example of these traitors. I'll give you more strength. It will give more strength to my claim. Now, onwards. You step with him in the dark tunnels of the mine. Okay, well... We are in the old mine now. Um, I'll definitely want to use that before I forget. Although this hand is like very malignable, I'd say. There we go. Should be like an easy start here. Um, let's use Rune of Greed, I think. There we go. I believe you're gonna have some uh, some unpleasantries here. Yeah, we're gonna have some mines exploding in our face. So let's see what we can do about that. Distracting shot might work. Oh, it's a mine cart. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was a counter shot. Or wait, what? Ah, oh, no, the the mine cart broke. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, let me get a couple more of those. Okay. Well, I already have a lot of these, but let's continue here. Let's see, that's good. That's good. Well, these uh, minor dwarves are not a, a huge uh, danger, but uh, I like that one though. Yeah, let's do that to draw, I guess. And I forgot to use the Runecrafter's Mask, luckily enough. Game's like, nope, there's more. Okay. Okay, then. Okay, then, game. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, there's the there's the mine. So I'll have to do that to dodge the attack. There we go. Okay, I'm going to buy another one of those. Okay, let's use the Runecrafter's Mask again. Again, it's not optimal to use them like that. It's better to chain break things with it, but... Uh, since I'm playing this part kind of fast, then... Uh, I'm fine. Um, yeah, it's not ideal, but... Uh, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. There we go. Do that one. Do that one. The barricade, and I use that. I use one of the runes. Okay, I do have plenty escape in my hand, so 
That's good enough, I'd say. Together with the bear trap, I should be safe from pretty much anything. Boom. Well, dodge the boom. So. Okay, well, I like the positioning expert. Pro uh, protects me nicely from the chargers, so I'll take that. Start battles distance. We already starting battles distant with enemies unaware. Now we're gonna start with like how much diff distance too. That's good. Ah, uh, this hand though. Give me some draw. Well, at least we got closer to it. That draws though. Okay, let's see here. What we can get. Okay, that's all right. We're gonna break it. So if I get like a little bit weaker hand, or at least something I consider a little bit weaker, I'll probably like uh, use that to chain break 7 out of 12. I guess we're not gonna use greedy runes again. I already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dimensional runes and I don't even need them, so... Anyhow, let's kill some dwarves. You were digging holes too deep, you upset some powerful person who told me go and, well... Dispose of these dwarves. They were not nice. How much is that? Eight. Well, barely not enough. No. Let's do it anyway. Okay. That covers and runs. Why do we cover and run? Runs away from their master is killed. Oh, these are like kind of goblin slaves. Okay. Well, to me, they're just goblins. Uh, <laughs> is that racist, by the way? Sounds racist. They're just goblins to me. Herp, herp. Okay. Uh, well, another mine, I suppose. Oh no, it's a minecart. A dwarf jumps out. Well. There we go. Okay, a couple more of these. Good. Okay, barricade. Does that give them armor, evade, or something? I forgot. Grants evade to adjacent enemies. Yeah, but they are unaware, so it doesn't work. So, yay for me, I guess. Let's use that again. Okay, well. Okay, a couple of shots up. We can draw two cards here. So, what do we drop? Recover arrows like for wheels. Yeah, I guess It's a bit uh, weird, but um, Gonna get back to it again. No problem Four damage there Four damage there for damage everywhere Okay, yeah, sure Yeah, this first couple of areas just don't have enough meat staring in my face to make me worried okay there we go there's the recover auto stink mm, need some shots here oh, that's uh, that's a good one okay 16 <laughs> oh boy four another one oh, another one okay let me see here, gonna drop that, recover some arrows and end the turn here. Boom! Or a minecart. Oh, two minecarts. Well, scary. Scary indeed. They jump out of the minecart. Oh no, we are in trouble now. Are we though? Are we in trouble? There we go. Okay. Well, closer and closer to my goal, the new cleaver wonder what it is well this hand looks good so yeah let's just do that then um, this one can probably be drawn into again well number of enemies is slowly and steadily increasing though so 12 that's good for in that one I do have a royal arrow right yeah I do I'm gonna miss royal arrows though I hope the new quiver like uh, uh, accounts for that. We'll see, I guess. Five. Uh, maybe do preparation shot. Problem with that, though, is that now this one's not chained and doesn't draw a card. So I do love me drawing some cards. So. Okay. 
I'll need my uh, zip line. That's gonna be okay if I don't draw anything else, I guess. Yep, something's not right. Uh, let's see. I got three distracting shots and stuff. So I'm probably fine here. There's go. Flint escape. That's the one I wanted. It's the safest way to like avoid difficulties. So probably could have considered like uh, counter shots and stuff, but. I like to kill enemies rather than counter shot. Counter shot always feels like risky to me for some reason. I was like always, what if it doesn't work for whatever reason? <laughs> I have this kind of anxiety, I guess. Okay, well, here we are, the Dwarven Foreman. Um, let's see. Now this can looks good, right? Got my concentration. Yeah, let's go. Oh, should check what he does. Uh, throws bombs from distance and... Well... He leaves a surprise after that. Oh, does he? No, does he? What was that? Just a serrated arrow. Okay, so then that's good. Well, long story short, he needs to die. Oh, right. He has dodge. So these need to die first. Whoops. That was uh, not good, not good. Okay, uh, let's see, 4 damage. Okay, do that, do that. Okay, I need some more uh, damage here. Oh, that's not damage. That's not damage, that's not damage. That's not damage. <laughs> There we go, some damage finally. Okay, ooh, 16, and he doesn't have dodge anymore. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's do that one, I guess. I don't know why, but... Well, my stamina looks a bit weak, so... Let's be a bit careful here. Uh, five. Well, I have enough to deal with the surprise. Last trap. You gra you found a bomb. Bomb. Deal 8 and stun target and deal 4 to adjacent enemies. Oh, bomb is good. Oh, I like the bomb. And he dropped a bunch of small bombs. They are distant though, so they probably can hurt me. Will they like explode or something? I don't actually remember. Um, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna kill another one and I'm gonna end the turn here. Oh. Need to distract that one. Okay. Okay, so these just explode and since they are not close enough, they don't do anything. That's good. It's, uh, mostly what I expected anyway, but... Okay, need to concentrate a bit here. Don't uh, don't distract me too much there. Nice. Okay, living old mines. Uh, max by one. No enemies receive two vulnerability for two turns. That one's really good, actually. Okay. I'm gonna buy run rune of greed. Oh, I messed this one up. I wanted mushroom bread. Ah, uh, I forgot. I should keep some money around just to be able to buy these. Okay, so I'm not gonna have extra stamina for the final fight. Hey, I'm not here to fight, but to do business. I think I got some supplies you might be interested in acquiring. So hopefully the dimensional runes uh, make up for it. Leaving old mines. Now. That was quite intense. It seems the Zerper has more followers than I initially thought. It could be wiser for us to go through an alternate route. There is a cave full of mushrooms nearby. It leads to a secret passage into the Dwarven city. But if you think we can deal with these traitors head on, we can just keep following the Dwarven tunnels all the way there. What are your thoughts, my friend? Uh, my thoughts are... Uh, I want to check out the Quiver first. 
Okay, Dwarven Cleaver. Special melee. So this one's the same. Recover arrows. Drill arrow. Draw card and recover one arrow. So that's pretty much standard here. Next shot has free armor break and plus three damage. So this is like a a nook. Okay. Well, you don't get the extra draw from the royal arrow, but uh, it's okay, I guess. Explosive arrow, draw and recover one arrow. Next shot has stun, plus four damage and deals four to adjacent targets. Well, this is really good. I like AoE. Is this like one of our only, this is basically our only AoE here, right? Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. I mean... These can be stacked, these ones can't, but these ones are like more powerful it seems. Because of armor break. Yeah, so these are really good in the... Against armor targets. Hmm. Plus four costs minus one. Yeah, roll out was pretty good. Okay, anyhow, I'm gonna equip it for sure. Okay, a description. A dwarven career filled with innovative arrows. Drill arrows are able to press through armor and explosive ones can deal a lot of damage in an area. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. Uh, I wouldn't say it's superior. It depends on the situation, but uh, armor is something I struggle with. So, especially with the other things I have it's gonna be better basically anyhow I want to go like that I think so up down up right I guess also we could do that as well I guess like that but I always like always go up when I don't know oh mushrooms though mushrooms mushrooms entering mushroom caves you follow the prince deep into the dark cave after a bit of walking you start seeing some blue pale light in the distance as you get closer you see where the light is coming from Giant bioluminescent mushrooms are growing all around the cave. Stay close to me, stranger. These things are ready to burst with poisonous spores in the slightest contact. Be wary of the bats and spiders too. Just as he finishes his words, you start hearing something move close by. You prepare for a fight. Moving. Like, do mushrooms move? Well, I guess bats do though. Okay, well, I don't have a card draw, so I'm gonna mulligan here. There we go. I already have a lot of dimensional runes. I'm probably gonna save up some money here. Okay. Um, and maybe I should stop buying runes of greed as well. Like, it's not really realistic. Well, maybe a couple more. I don't want my hands to be overflown though, because then I'm not gonna be able to see all my items. Anyhow, uh, I go with explosive arrow here. Um, can't say I'm super happy about this hand. So these don't stack anymore, so I can cycle as well. Well, that other deck was way more cyclable though. At least I don't have to worry about the um, royal arrow thing, discarding cards so I can draw enough. Anyhow, let's do that. Uh, get some cards back. Do a drill auto, I guess, just for cycling. That should be fine. Uh, shot, yeah, sure. The, the swarm divides. Okay. Oh, look at that. Now that's a pretty scary enemy if I ever saw one. Anyhow, I'm gonna use that. Um, let's see the situation here. Oh yeah, I definitely wanna see that bomb thing. I'm gonna use that potion. So I can do another one of these. Okay, so now I, I can see the next thing I buy. Oof, so many runes of greed. Should I buy more? I don't know. Maybe I can replace the Runecrafter's Mask with something more useful now if I find it. 
Okay, well, um, let me end the turn here. Because all of these have like a lot of dodge, so yeah, this will be a little bit annoying place, but uh, bear with me here. Okay, do that. Drill auto. Okay, let's kill the first one, I guess. Counter shot's gonna be good though. Oh, two counter shots. Okay. Mm, let me see something. That. Uh, this is the best way to do the bats, the fastest ones. So. Zip. Well. What can you do, bats? I'm just too ready for you. There. I'm not sure how many more of these should I buy. I do have some cash stored up now. Should I buy like one rune of time? Just in case. Allows you to go back in time and restart the current room. So if you messed up really badly. Mm, I could. I just think it's a weak play. I'm gonna buy another rune of greed here. Okay. Um... So I know this. most of these have to be killed in one turn. Yeah, otherwise they do like crazy things. But I have enough damage to do it most of the time anyway. So there you go. That was not an optimal play. But it's an easy area, so whatever. So how many runes of greed do we have here? Uh, I have way too many. I think we are fine. We are fine. Uh, oh, what's that? Splits into smaller slimes. Um, ah, it's fine, I guess. Prepared shot. Do that. Do that. So how much does this do now? Okay, so prepared shot. Oof, yeah. Explosive arrow is really good. It's amazing. It gets buffed by preparation. Yeah, that's kind of sick, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty sick. Um, I'll do that just to be able to do this. And... I just finish this off. Uh, drill auto, yeah, sure. There, I need a proper shot here. Nice. More enemies. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> at least they they have numbers. That's gonna tell you that much. Okay. Let's end the turn here. Oh, there we go. That's the one we want. And now we just want some kind of attack. Oh, that's gonna replace it, right? Yeah, I should be careful about that one. Okay. Oh, just some slimy voice. Nothing super special here. Bye bye. Another rune of greed. Yeah, I really don't know. I'll do one more. I'll probably do a couple more. Oh, salamander. Cave spider. Hmm. It's been a while since I was in the in the mushroom cave. Spits fire every turn. Well, I guess you're the priority target then. There and there. Gonna do that. Gonna do that. And how much damage is that? Nine thirty-nine. Oof, that's so sweet actually. Yeah, I can see why you would like this cleaver. <laughs> I think this is the one, right? Yeah. Plus one damage for one turn. Well. A lot of enemies. Well, I want my explosive arrow or my card throw or both, if possible. There we go. Now, this one will not be buffed, but still deals 
enough damage to kill all three of these, so let's go for it. Okay. What's that? Nine damage. Yeah. Just in time, concentration. Well, you had to come. I mean, I uh, threw pretty much everything else, so. And also, no arrow problems yet. That's always good to see. Uh, that. Let's see. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. What did that die from? Uh, a lot of health, a lot of health. These will like separate, so they basically have double health, right? I have a lot of card draws, so this is a good, good starting hand. I think this is a good start. Uh, yeah, let's do that, and then six. Yeah, sure. Let's take care of the bats first, and now prepare shot into a uh, explosive arrow. Yes. And then I'm gonna recover some arrows here. Okay, cool. 10, 14, 10. Uh, yeah. Not that I'll need that many, but. Okay, kill that one. Kill these small ones, and then I'm gonna see how much stamina I have left over. Yeah, do that. Scary place, a bit scary place. Thirteen. Okay. I mean, I could break it, I guess. I'm just too scared to do it. Okay, I have enough for plant escape, so here's we go where we're gonna stop. No hidden enemies though, so no danger at all. Let's get some arrows and we're gonna end the turn here probably. Uh that one's good. Well probably should not have done it that way, but okay. Yeah, it would be better if I save that for the spawn spawners. The small ones. Okay. Well, one more. Yeah, sure, one more. I'll buy a dimensional rune here. Nineteen items, though. That's way too many. Okay. The spore cloud that surrounds it drains two and deals one every turn as long as the mushroom heart is not distant. Resist two green spores. Well, I guess that one's a priority, right? Okay, uh, well, I don't have card draw. I do have an explosive arrow, though. So, let's say that's good enough. Okay. Uh, prepare shot. Then. So, what do these do? Explodes when damaged, dealing damage to by heroes and enemies, unless it's killed in one hit. Oh, really? Interesting. That's really interesting. Uh, let's some more arrows here. Drill arrow. Shot. Uh, yeah, I should pay attention to my stamina, though. I am, however, not really expecting anything super crazy here um, yeah I don't think there will be hidden enemies in the boss fight but you never know actually you never know it'll be nice to kill that one if I can but barely not enough so now you have to deal with those, so well. <coughs> I 
two green sports, two red ones every turn. Okay, release a state response on that. Okay, what do these do? Grows into an acid mushrooms. And these grows into a spore sack. Okay. Well, that all sounds very reasonable to me. Need more stamina. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, it was not close enough, so barely didn't do and basically did not do anything to us. Okay, now we start going again. So seven. At least there's eight green spores on that. Oh, that's fine. There's no room for them, so whatever. <laughs> Spore explosion. Mm. Okay, now uh, these. Oh, it's not gonna die in one shot, so. Just gonna do a planned escape here. There we go. And let's finish this thing off. Okay. Oh, that one's pretty expensive. Oh, that's what we need. There we go. So, any hidden enemies? No. So, when she dies and explodes and releases a lot of enemies, they don't go into the hidden enemy stack, which is really good, actually. I, uh, I was sort of wondering if that will happen, but I guess not. Okay. Well, that's what we need. And bam. Um Maybe should have used the rune of greed actually. Yeah, I should have. That was a mistake. Doesn't matter. Uh let me get another one here. Living mushroom caves. Walking deeper into the cave, you start seeing less and less mushrooms around. Eventually, the cave splits into three paths. So, from what I remember, this path leads into the dwarven city. That path leads to a cave full of spiders, and that path leads back to the surface. I will take one of the first two, but if you want to go on your own to take to the treasure vault and get your reward, feel free to take the third path. You've already helped me quite a lot, stranger. Well, it's nice to be appreciated. Healing concoction. concoction. A powerful concoction made of a selection of rare mushrooms. It can close wounds and heal the body. Gain plus 5 stamina and recover free health over 3 turns. Gain free toxicity. Ooh. Mm, I like 5 stamina part. Bear traps is good though. It's a hard decision to have two bear traps for the last fight or plus five stamina. I'm going to take plus five stamina here, I think. Although this one lets me play faster because, yeah. Uh, this one... Yeah, this one doesn't let me play faster because I gain toxicity. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on this one. This just, if I just do any mistake in a hurry or something, I can save a lot of HP with it. So, yeah. The hunter has two out of three keys in the mountains. Collecting all three keys will allow you to restart the mountains from stage four instead of stage one when starting a new game with the hunter. So, I need one more. Okay, so here we are. Uh, nice and smooth, no problems. We have our new Quiver. It's pretty good. I like it. AoE is nice. So, yeah, in the next episode, I'll do two more areas, and then in the last one, I'm gonna do the Dragon Slayer. So, yeah, see ya then. If you're enjoying this, some likes and subscriptions would be amazing. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day, do something nice. Thank you all for watching, and see you in the next episode. Neymar, signing out. Bye bye.